I'm Nirav Shah, I'm a Senior Director of Products and Solution. And I want to give you a quick update on why Fortinet, a security company, is into SD-WAN, which is a very networking technology. It's because our customers are asking. So as of today, we have over 15,000 customers who has deployed FortiGate in a WAN edge or a distributed locations. Yes, they use, uh, they use us mainly for security. Some of them use us for both security and routing. Or some of them use us for just connecting the VPN to the data center. But with this large customer base, starting 2014, they're consistently asking us something that that time we didn't know it's SD-WAN, but we quickly realized that. One of the first thing that they ask us is, I think they, they understand with our 40 gate, they get the VPN overlay, they get the best security, but that application awareness that we have developed for next generation firewall, how can they leverage for a van? They ask about creating those application level policy and steering across the link, right? So in 2014, we were calling that hybrid van and that how it evolved, but this is one of the foundation of feedback that we started getting from customer of combining all this technology together and providing them a single solution where all the features are organically developed, right? We, we consistently get the feedback that uh, whether UCP is very complex or running multiple VMs in a branch is very complex for the branch network team to operate. So can you give us something where they can enable security features, SD-WAN features with a simple click and easily manageable with a single management? That's the vision. That's where we started in 2014, and we are very close to that, which what we'll show you in the demos today. So these are all the 40 gates that customer deploy for SD-WAN, right? What I'm showing you here is starting from 40 gate 30 all the way to the 500E. Now what's interesting here is all the 40 gates that I'm showing you here, uh, many of them are a desktop form factor with a fanless technology which runs those ASIC, they also come in a lot of variation. So this 40 gates come with Wi-Fi inbuilt, PoE inbuilt, DSL, 3G, 4G, all of those different variations are available. But as you see, as they're going from simple desktop to one RU, look at the performance that we can produce there. I just took two simple models, the 60s and the 500, which we see mostly deployed out there. It can start from a two gigabits per second VPN, which one of the entry level box, can go all the way up to 20 gig. And I'm not showing anything beyond 500, we can go even much higher, but this is what customers are deploying at the branch. We also uh, provide next generation firewall. So a lot of customers are asking us, SD-WAN with firewall, IPS, app control, what performance I should expect? So that's why I, we also produce the NG firewall one which can go from 250 to 5 gig. And to earlier question, we also showcase SSL inspection with IPS enabled for every 40 gig. So you can see that's also a very high performance, right? But we make sure that we also have a high port density. So like for 60E, we have a 10 1 gig port. For 500E, we even have a two 10 gig uh, ports along with the 1 gig ports. So a lot of port density, with all that features functionality. Right? Feel free to uh, take a look at one of the 60E and 80E, which is out there on the desk. Question about yes, uh, please. <coughs> VPN, is, 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 so is essentially your overlay is an IPsec? That's correct, so that's correct. using some kind of proprietary overlay like some of the other? No, we, we, it is purely based on IPsec VPN, yes. Okay, so VPN is essentially baked into your SD-WAN product? Absolutely, that's, that's one of the major elements, yeah. Now, do you offer a VM footprint? Any solution? Great, great question. That's why I had that last image, uh, which says that, uh, yes, these are all hardware I'm showing here, but the same operating system is available in a VM form factor. It's in fact tested across all different hypervisors. Uh, and that same technology is also available on all multi-cloud, AWS, Azure, Oracle, Google. So we're making sure, uh, let customers choose what they want, but the feature and functionality is the same. Yes. And, and a question on next gen firewall in a SD WAN appliance. Yes. Um, that application identification component of 
and next gen firewall yeah. and SD WAN. Are you duplicating that when you look at traffic? First, the next gen firewall does it, and then the SD WAN part does it. Or yeah, great question. We do not duplicate, and that was the whole idea. That do it once and use it for both next generation firewall and SD WAN. And honestly, this is the feedback we got from customer that. There are other solutions out there which they have to do it twice or may not be that efficient. So we want to combine it and optimize it. Yeah, great question, thanks. So one more thing I want to talk about. All the things that we'll talk today about SD-WAN, which is a feature of FortiGate, we charge nothing for that. It's available in the base platform. So what we have done is when we announce SD-WAN stack, we are 4.4 million cu customers uh, who are using the 40 gates. They can just upgrade the software and can get the latest SD-WAN innovations with that. Right? So SD-WAN is available in the base platform with no additional license. Now let me tell you what we have done with SD-WAN features. So we worked uh, in last three or four major releases. But even before that, as I was saying, a lot of routing a lot of networking functionalities were inbuilt. This was not new to us because having the routing functionality, traffic shaping, quality of service was always requested by our customers before SD-WAN era. But in the last three, four years specifically, we focused on SD-WAN. The first thing is we talked about application awareness. We use our 40 guard labs and almost daily we update application signatures so that we have a detailed application signatures available in FortiGate. And we have a lot of SLA-based policy that you'll see in a demo. The second thing which we did is, we used to have WAN link load balancing. We realized there is a need to re-architect it and make it an application-aware WAN path controller. So that was a, one of the major focus in last three releases, so that we can do application steering, we can do all that health check, and fail over, fail back. Make sure all this thing is simple to use for customers. So that's also available right there in FortiGate. Of course, we talked about the broadband, right? Customers wants to go from MPLS to broadband. We have all kind of connectivity available. But the last thing is uh, simplified monitoring, right? When they turn on the SD-WAN, turn on security, we show them all of those functionality in a very easy way in our controller. So you'll see that in a demo, how in a, in a Google map you can see the branches, you can see the SLA, and you can see the analytics around that. Can you do um, you know, BGP, proper BGP over the MPLS and stuff with your service providers while still having a DIA connection, and that's not a problem for you? Absolutely, Wonderful. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to dive into this in more detail. We are. I was going to say, I'm, I'm holding back questions because i got a million, but I just, yeah. yeah. We are going to dive into that. Yeah, yeah oh, absolutely. No. Awesome. Thank you. I do have a question for you on the last please, slide. Please, please, please. It just, if you don't mind going back for just a second. So, just looking at the difference between the 60 and the 500. Yeah. So, the next-gen firewall to SSL, you're taking, what, a 40-something percent hit there? Mm -hmm. And we were talking 17 before. So, just trying to understand where that all comes in at. Can you repeat that question? So, so if you look at the 60E, yeah. the performance between the next-gen firewall and SSL inspection, that's like a 40-something ah. percent hit, Good. not 17. Yeah. Yet then on the other side, the SSL actually has a bonus over next-gen. So just trying to understand how that all yeah. plays in. No, that, that's a good, good point. And uh, I think the simple answer to that is, remember the 60 is our desktop form factor. So we do some optimization. It's a system on chip which combines the NP and CP functionality. Okay. So there is some optimization done there because it's running in a, in a fanless technology. While on 500E, we have a dedicated NP, dedicated CP. Right? Sometimes, in fact, we have a multiple CP as well. So it gives you the boost of performance. Right? So, and, but, so when you're saying 17%, you're talking the 500, not the correct. lower end. That's right. The I, one, I think that's the confusion. Where okay. You hear, we only have a 17% loss, and then you see that, and it's like, wait a minute, something doesn't right. quite add so, up. So you, you raised a good point there, and let me again uh, explain that in a bit detail. The one which I took an example of NSS Labs was 500D, you're right. Okay. But even with the 60E, uh, and that the way they've done the degradation is pure firewall versus the whole SSL inspection, right? So it's not an apple-to-apple -apple comparison here with next generation firewall and SSL. Sure. Uh, if you look at the, the firewall performance of 60E, which is 2 gig, compared to that SSL, 
And if you see that degradation at that price, it's still a factor. But it can vary. You're right. It cannot be 17. But it is also not going to be at 7-0. Right. right. It will be not that bad. Yeah. Great question. Thanks. So moving on, uh, a lot of people ask us about define secure SD-WAN. Why do you call yourself secure SD-WAN? And uh, this is a single slide which explains what I'm showing at the bottom is our transport layer. It's all that processor and ASIC benefit that we talked about. Then on the top is a threat intelligence. All of this is available in 40 gate, in 40 OS. The reason I'm showing this is we, as I said earlier, all this functionality from IPS all the way to Cloud Sandbox are natively available. You neither need a container nor you have to fire up a VM. It's just that, enable it and done. But on top of it, all the 40 OS features which we talked about in the previous slide are available in a base platform which you can just start using without security or with security. But all of these features you can do, enable via zero touch deployment. So we have large customers with 10,000 plus sites. We can just put the 40 gate there, have a zero touch deployment, and push the policies out there. And a single management, right? So whether it's VPN, whether it's uh, security, or SD WAN, it's a single management to do all of this together. So that's secure SD WAN for us. That's why we think there's a need for combining both of them together. Question. Please. So the management also handles the non SD WAN and non security features like PoE, wireless, or is that configuration all separate? Great point. In fact, uh, uh, we expand our manager to the entire fabric. So access point, switches, all this thing we can manage. And you'll see later on, that's why we take SD WAN to SD branch, because we think there is, a, there is a need for managing your entire branch, not just SD WAN. So yes, it can manage all of them. Uh, I don't want to spend much time, but you might have seen this. This is the third party test which was done for SD WAN. And what NSS Labs did is uh, they did quality of experience test for voice and video. Right? And uh, there are nine vendors who are ready to participate for this one. And Fortinet showcased the highest quality of experience for voice, second best for video, and the lowest TCO for uh, VPN. So we were very excited when we saw this, that all the technology that we built, what we are giving to customers, uh, the third party test showing a really good results for that. Right? Uh, as Alex was saying, this is publicly available. You can, we can give you the reports. We can give you the methodology. We'd love to get your feedback, but uh, this was definitely a, a, a great uh, results for us. I won't go into much detail, but uh, we were also recognized uh, as one of the top five vendors in the latest Gartner Van Edge Magic Quadrant. Okay, so uh, I know I'm running a bit late, but one more piece that I want to talk about is uh, what we are seeing is customers who are using SD-WAN, of course, these first two use cases are very common where reduced cost or application steering. But we are also seeing this third requirement around, I want to simplify my branch. I understand that SD-WAN gives me a lot of good benefits. How can I extend that to my LAN also? And I have same level of benefits that I'm getting from the SD-WAN side from a cost and a simplicity. So this is where we introduce this term called SD branch. What we are seeing is customers starting at SD WAN, adding security for a secure SD WAN, and then also adding AP and switches, and then managing the entire branch from a management controller. Now, as, as some of you were there last year, we do build our own AP and switches. And they are very well integrated with 40 gate. In fact, if you connect AP or switch to a 40 gate, from a management controller, those ports or SSID acts like it belongs to 48. So you can create a policy without worrying about the separate devices. You can have a consistent policy, security, and management. And I want to talk about this one large win that we recently had. This is a customer in Germany. It's a large uh, retail chain with 4,000 stores. They had a, a, a huge uh, request for simplifying the network with SD-WAN. 
So they gave us these requirements, right? They said application steering is the key for us, uh, but we also want security integrated. They wanted to have all these tunnels from 4,000 stores going to data center. So they had like 40,000 tunnels with 20 gig of aggregation bandwidth along with going to the cloud. And they said, we want AP and switch management. So a lot of vendors participated in, in a proof of concept and uh, Fortinet emerged as a winner. Uh, they purchased our SD-WAN and security with the FortiGate. They also refreshed the data center because they want that 40,000 tunnels. And of course, AP and switch in the single management. So this is where we are extending those SD-WAN project uh, and helping customers to simplify, secure them, and make sure that it has a high performance. And just one last slide before I hand over to the demos. This is another one. There's actually, we just uh, heard about this. this. This one is in Netherlands, a large supermarket chain. They have around 900 stores. And it was a very interesting uh, uh, use case that they had. They, they started off uh, refreshing their van with reducing the MPLS cost. But the second uh, interesting requirement they had is, in my store, I have a lot of IoT devices. And sometimes I can't run the endpoint software on that. So is it possible that this SD-WAN can extend to my AP and switches, and at any time, if those IoT devices are indicator of compromise, then I can quarantine them. So they wanted to have a full layer of SD-WAN extension to the IoT devices. And again, we saw a number of large networking vendors participated in this proof of concept. And the reason we won, you'll see in a demo, is through a fabric, we can actually look at those IoT devices through endpoints, through our, uh, our switches, and automatically quarantine them. We'll show you that demo. So these are where we are seeing some really good benefits of FortiGate extending the ST-WAN to ST-Branch and makes pretty unique differentiator out there.